Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sad Onion. As always, I am your host Vasse, and today we're doing another NLSS themed dish. They were talking about some convenience store thing you would see like a hot dog with a hot dog, a hot dog with a um, pizza wrapped around it. So I've got my hot dogs, I pre-cooked them. I don't have to cook them all the way because they're going to go in the oven. But you know, cook them until they're mostly done. So I, I have our dough here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to zoom this out just a little. Um, there we go, so you guys can see this. Um, I will have a link in the description to the episode where I actually made pizza, so that you guys can see how to make this dough. Um, I, I said in that episode, I think I know why it didn't raise so much, and the answer is I didn't add enough salt. So make sure, I, I will in this episode have a recipe at the end. I am trying to do that more so. Um, you now make, a large enough bun, basically. And I have our tomato sauce up right here. Um, as you can see, it's still steaming. I don't know if you guys can see that, but don't overfill. Just kind of give it a nice, there we go. Make sure that you keep your um, sausages. I'm using sausage because we're being fancy. Um, and then a little bit of cheese. And we'll see how this works out. So we're basically like making pigs in a blanket, but instead of like actual bread dough, it's a pizza dough. And I think we could actually go a little bit heavier on the mozzarella. You'll excuse me, I've never done anything like this. This is something that I think, you know, you could totally see this is a 7-Eleven, um, you know, late into the evening. We're basically like, like I said, we're making pigs in a blanket, essentially. Um, so, nothing too fancy, just kind of give it a little go like that. And it should be that simple. It seems to be enough. I'm going to grease this once I'm done. Um, there's a little bit of water, as you can see, from this. I will probably have leftover dough. I have no idea what I'll do with that. Um, but this dough continues to come out perfectly. Um, if you know how to make dough, to make bread, then this is a really simple recipe. I will, again, have it at the end of, and I'm just kind of, you know, using my hand. There's nothing better, I think, than, than working with dough. Um, even though I suck, at, or sucked at making bread, I've, I've gotten better since having started, started Sad Onion, which is awesome. I just never had an opportunity to really make bread, but uh, that is changing, because I seem to be making this dough especially. Um, this is a very simple and versatile dough, um, so if you guys are looking for that, then I've got your recipe right here. And we're just going to pound that out a little more flat, and uh, we'll just lay it along a little bit more, a little bit more sauce. You know, the first one's always a test to see kind of where you're standing, and then the second one you can go a little harder and. Since we are doing multiples, and we definitely, again, want to grease this before we throw it in the oven. I have it preheating at 350. I think, um, you know, a good solid, and we'll just fold that over. And that actually seems to be perfect. That actually is perfect. Um, I'm making the dough a little bit bigger so that I don't have too much extra, so I really don't know what I'll do with it. Um, it's probably, this is probably just a little too much, actually, so I'll just return it to the pot. And I am watching above to see how it's going. So this will make five, you know. Don't uh, make more than you know you're going to eat. You probably shouldn't eat too many of these. Um, as simple as they look, they're probably really unhealthy for you. Like pretty much everything I cook on Sad Onion. So, not a surprise, really. Um, there we go. It's almost like a taco, too. Like an American-style taco. Um, there we go. And we'll just ladle on some of that. And this is a very simple dish. I'm sure people have done this in the past. I'm sure there are even convenience stores that have something similar to this. But 7-Eleven uh, was mentioned specifically, and I've, I've not seen a 7-Eleven in a long time. Um, so I don't know if they have anything like this, but if anyone's going to beat me on culinary abominations, it's probably going to be them. So that actually looks pretty good too. Um, 
It's gonna dip a little bit of the sauce out, but uh, that's okay. So, and that is our oven telling us we are ready to go. So I will grease this off camera and um, go from there. Um, and it looks like it's actually gonna come out really well. So yeah, I will have a, a, a link to the recipe for the dough to, to see it the first time, and I will have a little vignette, I guess, not really a vignette, I don't know, an epilogue to show you guys the actual recipe. It's very simple, like I said. This is a very simple recipe. If you don't want to spend the time making your own dough, you can always just buy pre-made. But if you're gonna make something like this, you should, you know, go whole hog and uh, at least make your own dough. If I, if I had the ability, I would have made my own sausage, but I don't have a sausage machine. I'd really like one, though. That's one thing I would like to do for, uh, for Sad Onion, is make my own sausage for the, the channel. Um, maybe one day I'll be able to afford that and actually get a better deep fryer is that thing I think I'm just going to pitch. You guys have never seen it. It's off in the corner. Um, so I have a little bit more dough left. Um, maybe I'll make like a pizza roll. So this will be like a two-in-one, I guess. Like make a calzone or something. Just to go along with this. Because we have a little bit of extra sauce too. So I'm just continuing to flatten this out with the palm of my hand. Nothing too severe. I'd really, but the next thing I'd really like to make is a char sui bao, which is a uh, meat dumpling or meat bun, Chinese meat bun with a Chinese style barbecue sauce to put it in layman terms. Um, that's one of the things I would definitely like to do. People have actually suggested it. I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, I'm a big fan. I actually make a pretty good char sui sauce. It's one of the very first things I ever learned to cook, like official, like real cook. Um, that one's going to be a little more cheesy. Um, I said experiment, see what works for you. We're just using basic mozzarella. And I didn't worry too much about this one because it was a little straighter than the others. And uh, there we go. So yes, we are going to cook this at 350. I don't think it needs too much more time other than 15 minutes, maybe 20. Just, you know, double check. This should be golden brown. And um, the sausage will be in there long enough to cook all the way. And the cheese should melt. I could even, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese on the outside about two minutes before they're done. So we get like this nice crispy, crusty cheese on it. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we are back. As you can see, it actually came out uh, pretty much like a hot dog bun. Um, I didn't expect that. So I'm gonna cut this in half. It did breach a little bit um, and some of the sauce leaked out. But so you can get a nice look there. Um, they came out great. I also took some of the, the, the rest of the dough and actually made like a fry bread out of it. So this is a really versatile dough on top of it all. So I'm gonna give this a try. There's not a whole lot of sauce in there. The skin's a little tough. It's really hot. Holy crap. It's solid. That cheese on the outside brought it up a bit. Um, I don't know if it's the... tasting or what. Well, these sausages are made out of, but... Uh, they're really hard and rough. Um, I mean, hot dogs would work, but we are at 8.30 Dawson bring it up to another level, so. Came out okay. I'll show you a couple of the others before we end here. Let me just move that around and you guys can see. See, they came out like legitimately like hot dog buns, which is miraculous to me. Um, and hilarious to me. So that's been our episode, ladies and gentlemen. 
There we go. Talk, uh, pizza rolled uh, hot dog buns. Pretty damn good. Nothing more to say about that. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and bon appetit.